Why am I on Fortune Island? Well, lately I've been taking a keen interest in history and geology, you see, and, uh, <laughs> nah, I'm only kidding. It's Drift Club, of course. Some rather high-profile and talented members have been kind enough to lend me their cars. This is the HSV Malu Gen F. It belongs to my friend Josh, who races in something called Formula Drift. You don't need to know what that is. All you need to know is that it has a supercharged 6.2-litre V8 that makes a thousand brake horsepower. Off we go, then. Set you some nice, easy corners to start. Remember, speed, turn in, feather the e-brake, and just... Sorry, yeah, I'm sure you remember. My friend Josh is actually Australian, you see, hence the Holden and the right-hand drive. It might also explain any sudden urge to abandon the route and just do, um what I believe are called doughies. That's the way, really chuck it around now. That settles it. I'm publishing a special edition of the club newsletter for this. at your destination. Nicely done. We'll have a drift club thriving on Fortune Island in no time. If we could only figure out where to photocopy the flyers. We're thinking about making Fortune Island the permanent headquarters of Drift Club. What do you think? I'll send some letters, trust me. Anyway, let's get on with the drifting, shall we? This is my friend Matt's 97 Nissan 240SX. It has a 7-litre supercharged V8 putting out 1,250 brake horsepower. He actually doesn't race this one anymore, but heaven knows why. Remember, shift the weight forward and you lose grip in the rear. Now, shift your rear and get going. Tell me that the 240SX body is pretty standard among Formula Drift drivers. Though, of course, Matt has put more gizmos and gadgets in his than a Swiss Army knife. In 100 metres, turn right. How about some more technical stuff? Come on, for me... I was going to make a point about counter-steering, but it hardly seems necessary now. In 400 metres, you will arrive at your destination. Yes, we're one step closer to claiming this island. The Drift Club Executive Committee are meeting tonight if you'd like to come. We'll have biscuits. This is it! I've spoken to the festival and to the authorities. If you can pull this off, we can make the island our permanent headquarters. They, they might even let us rename it. Are you ready? I've got just a machine for you to do it in. My friend Andy's BMW 325i. Standard Chevy LS-based engine, 6.2 litre V8. But it does have one massive advantage. You're behind the wheel. I have some lovely switchbacks you might like to introduce to our good friend, Functional Oversteer. It's a formula drift machine, so you've got over 70 degrees of steer angle to play with. 
By which, I mean try not to pitch it over a cliff. about making Fortune Island the permanent home of Drift Club, you know? I mean, how are we ever going to top this place? Our Fortune Island headquarters plan is on hold for the moment. I wanted to get us back to what Drift Club does best. Arguing over the tiniest details of drift engineering. You see, this is another custom 240SX from the Formula Drift Circuit. 95 this time with only 830 horses. So you'll have to prove this is as much about finesse as it is flat out power. I've laid in as technical a route as I can find. The rest is up to you. This is exactly what I need. Believe it or not, Formula Drift is all about how much traction you can maintain. I think those tires can stand up to a little more, don't you?
the proof. Power isn't the most important thing in your adrift setter. Which isn't to say we won't still argue the point later on, you know, just for fun. Hey, welcome back. The way people have been viewing your videos, Fortune Island will be swamped with drift clubbers before long. How good will that be? This one belongs to my friend Dean. He's a laid-back Irish lad whose Viper SRT-10 produces a decidedly unlaid-back 1350 brake horsepower. Just be careful where you point it. I've been scouting the island personally. This is the best drift route yet. Hard now, that's a ticket. Tires coming over on the next port. Well done. How are you enjoying Fortune Island? I have to say I'm rather liking the isolation and the solitude. I brought a nice big stack of aftermarket parts catalogues to read. This is my friend Justin's Ford Mustang. 200 kilos lighter than a stock Mustang GT and still in the highest weight class for Formula Drift. Don't tell Justin that, though. He gets very sensitive about it.
plenty of excitement in this route, but a good amount of technical skill too. I do like technicalities, you see. care of her. in the regular Drift Club newsletter, or should I start a special Fortune Island Drift Club newsletter? You know what, I'll figure that part out. Hey, so uh, I've been looking into making Fortune Island our permanent HQ. I floated it to Horizon and to the Drift Club Executive Committee. I'd take it to the local council if only we knew where they were based. So, here's another 240SX, 96 this time. Belongs to my friend Corey. 
I told you that body was highly customizable. This one has a V8 twin turbo and only puts out a measly 1150 brake horsepower. Oh, one more thing. This route is the best route I could find on the island. I do hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy welding differentials. to mention this but I'd never actually seen a Formula Drift event live I'm just friends with Andy and the other drivers through the internet Take note. Not a bad idea, actually. Let me take some notes.
Drift Club headquarters. Welcome to Drift Island. It's not an official rename. We're only allowed to say it on our website between club members. Still, it counts. Tonight, tonight.